सो डे स्टूडेंट आज का टॉपिक है हिल द ताबा मॉडल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर पेपर दिस मॉडल एज developed by elda taba 1902 to 1967 he was an architect also teacher educator teacher educator also he is a curriculum developer so this model is developed by health ataba 1902 to 1967 he was an architect teacher educator also he is a curriculum developer the main approach of this curriculum development is that a teacher must be involved in curriculum development steps involved in health ataba model number 1 diagnosis of needs so he believes he believed that the teacher knew about the need the needs of students very well so they are the creators curriculum so he believed that the teacher knew about the needs of students very well so they are the creators of curriculum example in class there are different types of students like having different mentality or maybe from different types of home environment so 
इन सारे चीज़ों का एक टीचर को पता होता है कि स्टूडेंट की मेंटेलिटी क्या है वो कैसे घराने से ताल्लुक रखते हैं अमीर है गरीब है ये सारे इन डायग्नोस अब नीड्स में आते हैं सो दिस इज हेल्थ ताबा मॉडल का स्टेप वन स्टेप टू फार्मूलेटिंग ऑब्जेक्टिव वंस यू नो अबाउट द नीड्स ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स और नीड्स ऑफ सोसाइटी विच आर एक्चुअली दब्जेक्टिवस देन you have to develop or make the process to achieve it so this process is actually called formulating or formulation so this is formulating objective once you know about the needs of students or needs of society which are actually actually the objectives then you have to develop or make the process to achieve it so this process is actually called formulation or formulating so this is simple definition of the second step number 3 selecting content tab says that we have to select content according to the needs or objectives of students or society we have to select content according to the needs or objectives of students or society hame wo content choose karna hoga jo need ke mutabik ho this is selecting content example जैसा कि दैट स्टूडेंट ऑफ मैथ्स विल लुक फॉर लुक फॉर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ लुक प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ मैथ्स सब्जेक्ट्स you cannot choose chemistry or other subject for math student
number four organizing content so once you select the content then you have to organize the content in such shape that you get the desired result that you get the desired result completely कैसे ऑर्गेनाइज करेंगे जैसे कि हमें मालूम होना चाहिए कि हमारे पास रिसोर्सेज क्या हैं एक स्टूडेंट को कैसे पढ़ाया जाए जैसे कि क्लास में मुख्तलि किस्म के स्टूडेंट होंगे कोई आ, कोई अच्छे कराने से होगा और किसी का बेस अच्छा होगा मुख्तलि किस्म के स्टूडेंट्स तो इस कॉन्टेंट को उसी के हिसाब से ऑर्गेनाइज करेंगे ताकि हमें जो डिज़ायर रिजल्ट है वो मिल जाए सो दिस इज़ ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कॉन्टेंट द फोर्थ स्टेप ऑफ हेल्थ आर टावा मॉडल फाइव सेलेक्टिंग लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस the teacher teacher must present the content to the students and the students must engage in the content the teacher will select instructional methods method that all the students must involve in the content mm this experience will create multiple needs in the shape of thinking knowledge attitudes etc so selecting learning experience uh, teacher instructional method ko use karega instructional method wo hota hai jisme sare students involved hote hain so इस एक्सपीरियंस की वजह से इस लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंस की वजह से मल्टीपल ऑब्जेक्टिव्स इन थिंकिंग नॉलेज एटीट्यूड वगैरह के शेप में सामने आ जाएंगे
So this is called selecting learning experience. Number six, organizing learning experience. This is number six step organizing learning experience. So in selecting learning experience in selecting learning experience we know about the students Student thinking, sorry, thinking attitudes knowledge and skills etc. So now a teacher will organize his slash her learning experience according to student according to the students thinking attitudes thinking attitudes knowledge and skills so organizing experience a teacher will organizing his her learning experience according to his student thinking attitudes knowledge and skills this is organizing learning experience step last step step 7 evaluation it is the comparison of the standard it is the comparison of the standard and what is actually achieved So, हम हेल्दा ताबा मॉडल में हम दो चीजों की इवैल्यूएशन करते हैं टीचर एंड स्टूडेंट वी इवैल्यूएट टीचर एंड स्टूडेंट अच्छा इवैल्यूएशन it is the comparison of the standard and what is actually achieved. Standard is what we have set our objectives So, it is standard and what we have actually achieved. So, when we have a comparison, we have to do an evaluation. How do we do an evaluation? If the objective is achieved 100 percent we will 
go with the same content but but if we didn't achieve our desired objective then we will amend our curriculum अगर हमने अपने डिजायर्ड गोल अचीव को कर लिए हो तो फिर तो हम सेम कंटेंट से जाएंगे दोबारा दोबारा और अगर नहीं तो फिर हम कंटेंट में आ, जो करिकुलम हो हमारे आ, हमारे पास उस उसमें हम अमेंडमेंट करेंगे सो दिस एवेल्यूएशन थैंक यू वेरी मच